I'm going to discuss some of the features of the cam checker software. There's other movies that talk about the cam checker, the logger itself, and running a test. But here's the free software that you get with it. And uh, what we have here is we have our data that the, you can upload from the logger into the software. And you can see lobe separation, intake exhaust, center line, and such. And you can see over here we have a, a profile name. The logger doesn't have huge amount of memory. So you'll see not every one of these tests has a profile name. That is because there was no profile data for it. How the logger works is it only remembers the complete profile, degree by degree what's going on, for the very last test you record it. So in this case here, this test and this test and probably this test, these three tests were recorded and then these three were uploaded. These two didn't have the profile, but this one did have the profile. And you say, what is the profile? Well, you can graph the profile. If we click on, for example, this name is highlighted, this test here, and we click on graph data, this is the profile and here is what that profile looks like, not necessarily degree by degree, but every four or five degrees what's happening. And you can export this data here if you want. So I'm going to turn off the graph now. And you maybe notice that there is two graphs drawn. That is because, see this little asterisk here? This test here we have marked as the baseline. And when you go to make a graph, that's the baseline, the black one that comes first. And the red and blue, red exhaust, blue intake, are drawn over it. You see, there's almost identical. They're almost identical to each other. So they agree very well um, because they are pretty much back-to-back -back tests. But let's say we wanted to change this baseline. Baseline comparison graph, and it says choose or change the baseline graph. I'm going to change it here. Mm -hmm. And what it says here is now go click on a different test that's got a profile. I'm going to mm -hmm. click on this one now. This is now going to be, this one here is going to be the baseline. So let's see how close this baseline agrees with this one. And you can see, again, pretty close agreement. There's a little bit of difference here or there, but it's in general, they're very close agreement. So what else can we do here? One thing we can do is... Um, there's a lot of data and we have different ways of uh you know different calls that we thought would organize the data well for you here is all the data this is all the data that comes out when you download the data besides the profile i'm going to expand this here and you can see here's time and date lobe separation into exhaust center line a whole lot of information here including the profile and the template and stuff so anyway lots of data you can actually go through and if you want, you can expand out some of these columns and see what's actually there if you don't have enough room. If you've got a high res screen, you probably don't have to do that. Or you can uh, include time. Here's time and date included with them. You can see here's lobe separation, uh, intake and exhaust center lines, and you can see the durations and stuff. And the rated lift. Here we're doing things that different we did. Uh, testing at different lift here at 200,000, 150, and 100. Now, a newer feature we have put into the program here, I'll have put the profile name in, uh, the camp file name here. So we can look at, um, for example, here's that baseline test, and here is the test we're making for comparison. If I go ahead and go up to Options and click on Report After Graphing, I can include a report with differences. Mm -hmm. And every time you make a graph, it's going to ask if you want to make a report also. Report is numbers on mm -hmm. a table. And so when you view, finish viewing the document, you close out Notepad. But here is, we were talking about doing tests at different durations or at different lifts, duration at different lifts. If you have a complete profile, the software will do that for you here also. And you can see here is lift at 50, 100, 150, 200, and such. And here is the opening and closing event and the duration. And you can see at 50, you got the biggest duration. As you go up to 350,000 lift, you got the smallest duration, which makes sense. 
But the nice thing about this is, this is especially if you're doing tech inspection, if you've marked, let's say, a test as a baseline for comparison, it's got the differences down here too as ex uh, expressed as numbers. And you can see comparing what happened here with the baseline test, here are the differences between these two tests. And you can see the intake duration at 50 was different by 1.1 degrees. At 100 is different by 2, 2.6. And this is really a nice summary of the differences between two CAM, measured CAM profiles. So I'm going to turn off the graph, unless I'm going to turn that off for now also. Okay. So that's some of the nice features of uh, what you can do with our CAM checker. I want to show you a couple another thing here. Um, you see these, this, these names here. If you go click on a profile file, it'll say, you can't change this name. That is given to it by the software. But it does say you want to change this over here. This is what it goes by for a name when you make graphs and stuff. Do you want to change that? And you say, yeah, I do. And if you go over here, that is the file name right now. And I could change that. Instead of that, I'm going to change it to that with and you can see I've changed it here now if you go and click on each particular test here you'll see that what we see here is the first line or 20 characters whichever is shorter or longer I guess and then you can include a lot of other comments of what this particular test was okay that's what that one was that one that one but you can see the first up to about 20 characters shows up here and when you go to make a report or a uh, a graph, it shows up up here as the name. So if you wanted to print the screen right now, you would uh, see those names there. So it's good for uh, uh, record keeping. 